teams haven't had the best track record no, they with haven't. big free agents. One of those being <laughs> Anthony Rendon, who I think has been injured more than he's played since signing with the Angels, but he's also oh, had yeah. some pretty interesting comments recently. Well, Anthony Rendon over the last few, when he signed his contract with the Angels, was a top third baseman in the game of baseball. He just won the World Coming Series. Coming off the World Series yeah. with the Nationals, um, and then goes to the Angels and gets paid his big contract to uh -huh. go there and play, and doesn't play. Oh, and it's just been, I, I, it's been an interesting situation for the fan base and for fans of baseball, and even teammates of his, the media? Um, the media. He was one of the hardest people to work with trying to get an interview with them. Yeah, you worked on the team. I then, just would walk, you walk right up to him, you'd be like, nope. Turn around, walk the other way. Last like, year, he just, what? he was not. What? He wasn't it, playing. It's a part of the job. It's a part, this is what you're supposed to do. Like, media comes in and you talk to the media. Yeah. You, like, just, especially if you're a big time, high paid player. It just comes with the territory. And it's just, it's rude. It's disrespectful. It's not understanding the, it's, it's all together. Like, the broadcast helps show the games that brings the fans in that get to know you. It's like, if you play the game and you understand and you go along with what you're supposed to do, it's going to be better for you in the long yeah. run. Yeah, so there's just been this attitude that he doesn't care, which yeah. is tough when you're not playing and saying you're injured. And then it's coming out that the even the, like, the athletic department or the, the trainers are like, we're not, you know, there's just these weird comments being made. Yeah. And then last year... Even more so along your point, he's yeah. asked about the injury and what is going on. And his comment was, no habla inglés, yeah. is what he said to the reporters. Yeah. And that just makes things even worse. And it's then just rude. over the weekend and, and Monday, I need, to, I need to read these comments okay. because it is this question and answer is very, pretty wild. Very when, on brand. Especially, very on brand. well, I'll, I'll give my thoughts afterwards, but okay. let's go through this. The question was asked, last year you said you'd consider retiring. What's your mindset now? He said, my enthusiasm has been the same since I got drafted, to be honest with you. Oh. I was actually deleting old emails because my storage to my maximum in my email, so I'm going back and deleting old emails. I emailed myself a pros and cons of why I wanted to stay in the game. This was in 2014. My thought process of the game has not changed since then. I keep making it this long. Question, how does your pro and con list compare to 10 years ago? His answer, it's a lot different. I'm married, I have four kids, my priorities have changed since I was in my early 20s, so definitely my perspective on baseball has been more skewed. Question, is it still a top priority to you? Answer, it's never been a top priority for me. This is a job, I do this to make a living. My faith, my family come first before this job. So if those things come before it, I'm leaving. Oh. Question, is it a priority? His answer, oh, it's a priority for sure because it's my job. I'm here, aren't I? Oh. Next question, do you want to be here? I don't want to talk to you guys at 7 in the morning or whatever time it is right now. And question, do you want to be here playing baseball for the Angels? His answer, I have answered your question, so why do you keep picking at it? Uh-huh. So there's a couple things. That was going nice, on here. by the way. That was a very nice Anthony Rendon. That's Look, the nicest I've ever heard. There's of. a couple parts to this, right? Like it's totally yeah. okay to say your priorities over baseball are your family and your kids and your faith. Like that's I think anybody who is married or has kids would say that. Right. Family comes first. So to, to know the narrative that's come out about you over the last year, and then you finally have to sit down and answer some questions and and answer it like. I, I don't know what he was thinking or doing. All I know, if it was me. He doesn't me, care. He if just it doesn't were care. Me, I would have said, I feel like I have an obligation to the fans and the organization to play baseball, and I want to do better at that. I want to do better at my job. I want to be there doing, I want to be out there with my teammates doing what I'm yeah. supposed to do. And I'm sorry if I've let anybody down over the last couple of years. I'm excited for this season. This is going to be great. Go team. Woohoo. But he, he's not doing That's that. That's a great he's, PR response. You should probably just like type that up, send it over to him, maybe DM him, slide into his DMs. He be would like, never hey, say that. I'm just helping you out here, Rendon. You know, maybe, maybe take like a sentence or two out of this. No, he just like that was very, a very on brand, but probably the most positive response that I've ever heard from Rendon. It's so honest. Yeah. And it's There's like, no filter. I, I honestly, filter. I respect it. The fact that yeah. he's finally coming out and being like, it's never been a top priority. Again, that's fine. It's just a but job. When you've played a handful of games over the course of your contract, you yeah. at least let fans know that it is a priority oh, you're to trying. you. 
I'm trying to get back out on the field. Right. I want to be on the field. Yeah. Yeah. Like, we saw him get in an altercation with a fan last year. Like, and then, like, all the injury. What happened? He was, like, walking. I think it, maybe it was at Oakland, like, walking from. Yeah. It was, it was between yeah. the screen. But there was something, that. and it went viral. It was, again, very on brand for Anthony Rendon, yeah. who was a big free agency signing for the Angels. So, yeah, I hope they can do something. I hope they make a splash. I hope Anthony Rendon's out there playing for Mike Trout's sake, you know? Oh, this, this yeah. is it. Yeah, he pulled a fan down. He's holding the guy. Yes, I told a full altercation. Like he's. Oh. Yes. I forgot. Yes. He, I forgot he took a swing at the guy. Yes. That is bad. Like he is not doing any favors for himself in the last year. Yeah. He took a swipe, a cat swipe. Tough. I just. Uh uh. Hmm. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, he's got some rebranding to do. It's going to be an interesting year for the Angels. Thanks for watching. If you love flipping bats, swinging 3 0, or just talking ball, join us. Call us at 213 537 9339 with your questions. We have a weekly guest and we have a lot of fun, so hit that subscribe button.